In this video, I'll be showing you how to use American Fact Finder, a database maintained by the U.S. Census Bureau. You can use American Fact Finder to find, search, and compile economic and demographic information. There are two sources. One of them is the decennial census. And the other one is the American Community Survey. The decennial census happens every 10 years. It is a constitutional mandate. The American Community Survey, though, that's an ongoing survey. So the information you derive from it is usually more current. Now, let's examine the interface of American Fact Finder. You have several options for searching. The first is Community Facts. And Community Facts just provides you basic statistics like the population count. For example, this is the basic search results for the city of San Antonio. This would be the population according to the decennial census. And uh, you can also look at popular tables and some data from the American Community Survey as well as population estimates. The second type of search is called the guided search. In the guided search, you tailor your information searches according to a series of questions that you answer. For example, if you want to find information about housing in San Antonio, you would check here. And you would get the following options for your search. When you select, you will get your selections in this box. And the search option would provide you with a number of tables that you can, um, you can use to find the information that you need. Then you can select and subdivide by geography. Region, division, counties are all options, census tract, and block group, as well as other divisions. The problem is that if you were looking for information about a census tract, you would actually have to know which census tract so that you could provide that information to the search engine. As you can see, the census tracts are identified by number. That's not very useful if you don't know the number of your census tract. In that case, your best option is to use advanced search. This would be the interface, this is what you would see uh, when you came to this part of the database. If I'm looking for information about a census tract or a block, this is the most flexible option. I like to start with geographies. 
because that allows me to input an address and search by address. Once I get my search results, these are all the tables that are available for, and they are organized by geography. So if I'm interested in information for a census tract, I just click on it. You need to close out of this menu, and these would be your results. These are all the tables that are available with information about this particular census tract and you can narrow it down to the most recent available year. Now, why would, would it matter to search for information of a smaller, for a smaller geography? Well, one reason has to do with maybe the kind of research question that you want to ask. For example, if I want to find out if I live in a food desert, I need a definition. So I chose this one. This is the official definition from, from the United States Department of Agriculture or USDA. And they define a food desert as a census tract with a substantial share of residents who live in low-income areas that have low levels of access to a grocery store or healthy, affordable food retail outlet. As you can see, this definition includes several key terms that tell me the kind of information that I'm going to need. For example, it asks for a census tract. It asks for low income and low levels of access. This is how the USDA defines these terms. Low income is defined as a situation in which 20% or more of the population of the census tract lives in poverty. And low accents access is when 30% or more of the population live more than one mile away from the nearest grocery store. And that's for urban areas. And for rural areas, the distance is 10 miles or more, taking into consideration the um, how many people live in the region, which is called population density. So that's the reason why you want to be very, very clear about the kind of information that you need to answer your question and the way that you will be defining the search terms so that you can find the information that you need. Now, having used this database several times, I know that uh, the information that I need might be found here in this table, poverty status in the past 12 months. This is my table, and this is the total total population that um, was included in this survey. This is my source. So the data comes from the American Community Survey five-year estimates. And this is the estimate. According to this survey, there are 464 individuals that live below the poverty line. That is equivalent of 17% of the population in the census tract. If you remember the definition, the USDA wants 20% or more. Therefore, I can conclude from this data that my census tract does not meet the definition 
on for a food desert, at least not in terms of income and poverty rates. You can use advanced search to find all sorts of demographic and economic information, housing characteristics. You can find out, for example, using selected economic characteristics, you can find the median income for households in particular areas. For example, in the census tract that I used as an example, the median household income is $37,000. You can also find out information about how many people are on government assistance and uh, even some housing information grandparents, fertility, school enrollment, educational attainment, language spoken at home, and all sorts of very useful information that you can draw from to strengthen your arguments when you're trying to do research for school and, uh, and also for work once you graduate. And that's it.